Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. My name is Barry Silver. This is episode number 773. And the topic today that I want to play with is relationship is optional. Here's why. And before I jump in, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I'm about. Um, my name is Barry Silver, in case you hadn't figured that out already. I am the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book all about relationships for singles and couples. So that's why I'm going to have a fun chat today. Hi, Mary Kate. I see my broadcast um, and I'm also an inspirational speaker and a relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love life and business and I'm also getting very spiritual in my talks lately you may have noticed and being a passionate champion for the divine feminine I've been very supportive of women in the work I do and also about the way I got inspired to do this talk starting over two years ago now called messages from the masculine inspiring a feminine heart and so now we're at episode number 773 and the topic today is relationship is optional and here's why. And by the way, I'm wearing the hat because I'm a little bit schwitzy plus the fact that it's, it was, my head was too shiny. <laughs> so it's blowing out the camera. So that's why I'm wearing the hat. So let's jump in. I was having a conversation with a friend just now about relationships and I mentioned a few weeks ago, I think it was, about the human design um, measurement, device, chart, etc. And it talks about how a relationship for me, because being a, what's called a single definition, is optional. And I thought, well, is it true for everybody? And the more I think about it, and I've done so much, I've talked a lot about codependency the last <laughs> several months. So I've been somewhat um, reticent about saying it, but I think I'm going to talk about it now, about relationship being optional. The reason being is I believe we're, we're in the middle of a cultural shift. And to give you a little history lesson, going back maybe 50, 60, 70 years. Up until that point, relationship was part of the cultural, the society's structure, basically. We had to be in relationship for the propagation of, cult of, our, of our families, for the tax breaks, <laughs> and for all these other pieces, the puzzle that made society work. Single people, a lot of times, were ostracized, were outsiders, being a spinster or being a, um, what was the other terms they used? You'll come back to me. But being single, and especially when you're not 25 anymore, was looked upon as being bad. But I feel like we've culturally shifted since after the sexual revolution in the 60s, when women found their own place in life and direction didn't need men anymore. That was one of the biggest pieces. But also what I'm realizing, maybe it's because of our population, maybe it's because of lifestyles, maybe it's because of finding our purpose, that being in a relationship is not necessarily the be-all and end-all of life. And I mentioned about purpose, that's one thing I've been passionate about myself, and I've talked about this for quite a while too, that finding our why, a reason for being, is, is uppermost, particularly for the masculine. I think it's true for women too. We need to find what we're about in the world to have life work. And relationship isn't always that piece. In fact, it really is. So when I'm saying relationship is optional, I mean that to survive in the world nowadays, for men and women, Relationship is not a requirement. Yes, if you want to have a family, then ideally yes. Although, of course, I know many people who are now single parents because of choices that didn't last. I'll say it that way with past relationships. But also, we become more free this way. Part of what I've been talking about recently as well is about, one, breaking the codependent cycle. Because codependency is a trap I know that is heinous. And I've talked about it many times. But also, finding our way into the world. Hi, Sue. Thank you for that feedback. I appreciate that. Um, finding our way in the world on our own two feet, this is the other part by the way, when you learn to live on your own two feet, it makes having a relationship much easier. See, making a relationship optional, it's like having um, high involvement, low attachment, so to speak. Being happy to have a relationship but not, not codependent upon it, or not, not requiring it to be happy. Like, be happy anyway, then if a relationship shows up, all great, all the even better, more fun, more joy, more celebration. But when we look at relationship as the, as the, I won't be happy until, that's the trap. That's the codependent limitation that so many people fall into still. And in my work with my clients, a lot of times I'm realizing more and more is that my focus point, and I've been talking about this more recently, I'm gonna change some things on my website now because of this, is that my focus with helping my clients is to help them love themselves, period. Not love themselves because of something, not love themselves to get somewhere, but loving themselves period. Then if a relationship happens, much easier. Hi Mary, 
involvement excuse me involvement of evol sorry involvement or evolvement involvement high involvement low attachment meaning that you jump in play have a lot of fun but things don't work out you're not attached that's kind of what I meant by that so thank you for asking for clarity that that hopefully makes it clearer so what I'm very clear about more and more is that my work with clients both in group and in individuals helping them find their way back to themselves that's why I've got my self-love um, guided meditations that's why I've got my coming home to yourself course that I'm launching still in development still coming together to get more people signed up for it um, I'll put links for those in the comments because the truth is any relationship will be better when you love yourself when you have a relationship to with yourself first yes relationship in terms of couples yes Mary because the thing about it is we can have lots of commit lots of social relationships and family relationships and other relationships which at the same time all of those are predicated or impacted by the relationship we have with ourselves the relationship we have with ourselves primarily is where everything changes because everything out there really is a projection I'm throwing some big words out here but a projection meaning that when there's things out there that don't work if you look inside first you'll find something one you one you might find some parallels secondly you actually can find something you can work on because you can't necessarily fix the other people out there but you can fix the stuff inside that's in the way so the relationship with yourself always comes first because it's the one piece that you can control and the one piece you can work on and it's the piece that opens the doors to everything else if you're in an amazing relationship with somebody else in the world romantically or in other levels work on the relationship with yourself first it's always coming home to yourself first that's why I got the, that's why my course is called that again I'll put links in the comments so you can check them out coming home to yourself really is the, the place to go because when you look to come when you're looking to go out there in the world first of all again when you come home to yourself you can work on yourself and be your best possible person but the second part of that is when you go out in the world you know who you are you also know the standards you have and you know what works for you and what doesn't it's much easier to make discerning choices when you know who you are you don't make bad choices you don't settle for things you don't deserve because you know that's not for me and because you're not hooked into relationships as a must have if somebody offers you something that's not quite what you want you're like I don't need it the freedom to walk away is an indication that you're actually in a better place with yourself especially when you don't walk away with regret because <laughs> that's the trap is that you walk away from something saying I'm fine without it and then you go into a place of regret saying you wish it could happen was that Mary um, I'm glad it's good yes working in a relationship with yourself not isolating away from other people that's the thing it's not about being a, being a hermit what I'm talking about though is, is putting yourself first all the time you can go out social situations go see friends but remember in between those times when you're driving there when you're driving home when you're alone with yourself is to be kind to yourself be caring to yourself love yourself and work on yourself that's the focus because the more you do that then all the other relationships around you in the world and I'm all about will transform accordingly and this is the thing that the trap we fall into is that when we change that person we'll feel better it doesn't work that way it's the other way around when you take care of yourself first then everything out there changes too this is the the um, distilled version of what I talked about with my clients <laughs> I'm giving you a little little um, cliff notes version or an overview but it gives you something to work on because when you start looking at your own life and seeing where you can make changes because it is your life and you can make changes that's when things can shift especially if, you, if you're in a relationship all those times you wished your, your, your partner would change it's not easy but change yourself other things can change as well well, thank you Mary so you're getting better at this since you started listening to my Facebook like my Facebook shares I'm glad you're getting value from them I'm glad that works for you thank you for letting me know it's it sounds simplistic in a way but it reads really the truth when you do come home to yourself when you love yourself and care about yourself other relationships first of all aren't as relevant to you ultimately because if they do or don't do what you want you don't take it personally now you may not like it you may want to give them feedback but you come from a place of being detached enough to take care of yourself first again self-care first then you take care of other people and i so shared this yesterday again I'll share it again one of the first ground rules I learned in a seminar back in 84 was take care of yourself first so you can then take care of others if you don't take care of yourself first you'll burn out trying to take care of others that alone should be a wake-up call so, so self-care first then you can care for other people it really is that simple well <laughs> not always easy but it's that simple 
I think that's all I want to say today. Just get a brief chat to get it out there. This is um, it's a Sunday broadcast, since the casual attire. Um, but it was on my mind, so I want to get it out there. Um, some links I'll put in the comments because I mentioned that. My self-love practice, my book, of course. And the Come Home to Yourself course that I'm offering. Uh, it's a new group program that's it's in beta test right now. So it will be a, um, a special deal. Check the page out. You'll see what I mean. Um, the link will be in the comments. And also, if you want to have a clarity conversation with me, I'll offer that as well. Um, I think that's going to be it. That really is the point I want to make today. Is about relationship really is optional. You have the choice. And the relationship with yourself is the only one you don't have a choice about. In fact, the relationship with, your choice, relationship with yourself is the one that you cannot get out of, obviously. So do the work. Take care of yourself. Get support. Transform your life for the better. Get help when you need it. And find your way to love yourself so much that any other relationship has to be additive to that. Because that's what it is. Every relationship you get into has to be additive or it's not worth having. Make sense? Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, by the way, in case you haven't seen me before. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, pretty much every day. And you can find me on my personal page, which is at, um, Barry Selby on Facebook. My business page is where the replays go, which is barryselby.author. And for those of you not on Facebook all the time, I do put them all onto my YouTube channel, which is also my name, Barry Selby. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. That is where you'll find my broadcasts from over two years ago till now, all 770 plus. And you can scroll through there and you can search for keywords and find what you want to look at. So with that, I thank you for watching. I hope this has been of value to you. Thanks for the feedback, by the way. I like the comments and the feedback. I appreciate that a lot. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts about this, I'll respond in the comments afterwards. So please respond below and I will get back to you there. And with that, I thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow, same time, same channel, 5 p.m. Pacific time, personal page. And I look forward to seeing you then. I invite you to take care of yourself because that's what I'm all about. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.